Last season, U of L started the year with three straight one point losses and the season went downhill from there. So of course they found themselves in another nail biter to open the season this year tonight as they hosted UMBC. The first half was a struggle. Frank Emu's three gave the retrievers a 13 point first half lead, but the cards cut it to eight by the break. Second half, U of L storms back. Mike James and one. He gave the cards a 52 50 lead. He led everybody with 25 points and 10 boards. His first career double double. Tied at 92 with 15 seconds left. Trey White misses. He gets the ball back. It wasn't a foul. They called that an alley oop. I don't know about that. JJ Trainer cleans it up. It's 94 92 cards. One last chance for UMBC. But Kadarius Smith misses the free throw that would have tied it. And U of L escapes with a one point victory. 94 93. Wave Sports anchor Dusty Baker has more from the KFC Yum Center. Year two of Coach Kenny Payne tipping off Monday evening after the Cards going 4-28 and 28 and 2-18 and 18 in conference play last season. This year, though, opening 1-0 after what can only be called a chaotic conclusion, winning by one point. Coach Kenny Payne saying he is proud of his team battling the adversity. We needed this win, and we needed it for the guys in that locker room. They fought for a win, and they got a win. It wasn't pretty. I love the fact that we got them in foul trouble. I love the fact that we shot a lot of free throws. We're one and out. Tonight, the Cards also honoring the late Denny Crum with his wife Susan in attendance, face to face with the U of L fans for the first time since Crum's celebration of life. U of L wants to pay tribute to him like that and honor him, and the fans get to see it every time when they come in here. That means a lot to all of us. With Kenny Payne saying winning this evening means even more to honor Crum. I played for Denny Crum on a night that we are honoring him. I'm ecstatic that we won this game, but I'm also cognizant of how fragile winning is. The Cards will look to take their momentum from their victory on Monday night into Friday when they host Chattanooga, looking to go 2-0 to start the season. With the Cards at the KFC Yum Center, Dusty Baker, Wave Sports.